Uh, close for you to go on out and get that? Uh, yeah, um, shoot, I feel like I still had more, more to do here. Um, I love it here. I uh, love the guys here, coaches. So um, in that aspect, it, it was easy to come back and, and want to be with them and, and shoot, try to do it one more time. Uh, yeah, it was a uh, had some good feedback, had some had some some not good feedback, uh, stuff I liked, stuff I didn't like, but I feel like that's probably anybody. So uh, yeah, um, hopefully come back this year, um, get a little more consistency, and then uh, and then go from there. Yeah, um, Coach Munk and I have uh, nothing but good things to say about him. Um, obviously, he's done a great job here, um, did a great job, and. Should have nothing but respect for him. Um, hope he does does good at the next level, and wish him nothing but the best. And as far as Coach Bobo, I mean, he did did a lot for us last year, um, uh, just helping us out, whether it's calling plays or just really just giving us a little insight on how to run a route or anything like that. So, shoot, I'm I'm super excited that he's here and, and that he's taking over. And I'm, I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to it, and I feel like we can be better than ever. Um, uh, not not too much. Um, we'll kind of see how how it goes in spring. I mean, obviously, Coach Bubba is going to have his his twist on things, but um, I feel like kind of keeping it the same with him being in the offense last year. I feel like it could kind of translate over a little bit. Did the uh, did the events of the offseason right after the parade did, they, did that cast a pall on kind of the whole championship celebration thing? And if, if so, was that was that kind of end? You know, getting back on the field. Um. You talking about like the the wreck and stuff? Um, yeah. Uh, I mean that's a, a sad situation, and it still is. And shoot, we're doing everything we can to to honor Devin and Chandler. Um, that that is our family, and to see something happen like that, um, it's never easy. It's still not easy, and we're just trying to do everything we can to honor them and, and represent them the right way. Um, it's tough. I mean, you don't really know what to do in that situation. I don't think anyone did. Coach Smart would be the first one to say that. So just doing everything everything we can to just be there for, for their families and, and for each other. And I feel like that's that's the way we're approaching it. And it's not like we're just going to spring ball start and so we're, we're forgetting about that. They'll forever be with us and, and be a part of this program. So, um, yeah, we're just doing everything we can to, to lean on one another and, and love each other. Yeah, um, I mean, obviously him, uh, Brock, Gunner, all that quarterbacks, um, being able to see what Stetson did and, and how he led us, I feel like a lot of them can, can feed off that and learn some things and also bring other things that Stet might not have had that, that they have and bring to the table. So, yeah, we're super excited. I'm ready to see all of them compete in the spring. And, shoot, I know they're, they're going to get after it. And, shoot, I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, those guys came in and, and immediately wanted to learn, to learn the playbook, immediately wanted to get in the weight room, wanted to get out there, get some work in. So those are two hardworking guys, and um, I can already tell that, that they're going to bring a lot for us, and they're going to give everything they have, and I'm excited to see them get out there and compete this spring. Um, well, I mean, uh, I guess it's, it's hard to say. I haven't really played with them much, um, but seeing what they did at, at Missouri and Mississippi State, I mean, y'all have seen it too. They're explosive, um, make, make big plays, fast, um, good route runners. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited and shooting ready to compete with those guys. Uh, I mean, I think anytime you have a new team, um, shoot, we lost a lot of guys to the draft, um, some to the portal. And then obviously some of the young guys coming in with Dom and Ra Ra. Um, I really just kind of seeing how, how we work best and, and what fits best. And I feel like that's uh, something spring kind of helps with, um, kind of deciding what kind of team we're going to be going into the fall. So I feel like just getting reps and, and really seeing who fits where. Um, I'm not really sure where that's going to be. Um, that's up to the coaches. And shoot, I'm sure it will sure show itself. And uh, shoot, we'll go from there. Oh, I'm sure there'll be a there'll be a twist on things. Um, I mean, anytime a new OC comes in, obviously he's gonna want to do his thing, and 
and Coach Bobo has done it for a long time, so we have full faith in him, and whatever he wants to, to throw at us, we're going to do it. Yeah, um, again, just like just like um, the Dom and Rara, those guys that came in and, and wanted to work, um, I mean, they were, I think all three of them were here prior to, um, like they early enrolled, so they got a few practices in, in the bowl practices, and I mean, I saw it then, they were, they were ready to get after it. They were hungry, um, so I'm excited to see those guys get to work too. Um, I mean, I would say anytime uh, you have some incidents like we did. Uh, it, it kind of it really hits you in a different way that other things haven't. So, I um, mean, yeah, just uh, kind of sit there and, and don't take any days for granted. Really, um, we're not we're not guaranteed tomorrow. So go out and 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 do everything you can and, and make the most of it. And you just like I said, lean on one another, love each other, and just do everything you can to to put your <laughs> yeah, it's a tough situation. It's hard to even talk about, but uh, yeah, just just do what you can, and yeah, live every day like it's your last, really. Yeah, um, I mean he's a he's a guy that's played a lot of football for us. Um, he's a leader, uh, does everything the right the right way. So just to have him come back and, and his experience and. Um, I feel like me and him can be, be some guys that can show the younger guys what it's like and, and how to practice and, and do things like that. So it was huge coming back. I'm, I'm glad he came back because I, lo I love Marcus too. So not everyone does. So, uh, yeah, we're excited. Glad your health and how healthy were you in that national championship? Yeah, uh, I'm getting there. Um, taking it day by day. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm 100% yet, but I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, uh, I mean, just a little banged up from the season. Anytime you play 15 games, uh, probably not going to feel too great afterwards. But, uh, yeah, I'm getting there. Um, trainer's done a good job. So I feel like rest was probably the biggest thing I needed. And, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to get back out there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like our coach has done a good job of really being um, being proactive instead of reactive, like we're we're staying on top of it. And, I mean, if you sit there and think about it, any 18 to 21 year old kid, if you don't make a mistake, it's it's kind of silly to think that that's not going to happen. So, um, really, the main thing is if something happens, you learn from it. And, and if you don't, then that's where it, where it gets gets bad. But I think we've done a good job. Our coach has gonna, done a good job of really setting us up the right way and putting people in our lives that can show us how, how to live and how to do the right thing. So, yeah, I think it's stronger than ever, and I think we're going to continue to build up. What do you mean by being proactive? Uh, I mean, really just, like, not waiting until stuff happens to to get on top of it. Really start be on top of it now so we know what to do when situations happen and we know how to how to act and and act in the community and, and be the right, right people that, that we want to be. Appreciate it, Joe.